Welcome to the Stoic Business Protocol and the Forbes Under 30 Summit Vlog 2. I'm going to try to storytell this experience and kind of walk you through my whole journey. This was the first time I was doing something like this and I got invited to attend this conference and network with some of the smartest people in the world. Day two with my man Janice. Is it Giannis or Janice? Giannis. Gotcha. Participants of the summit had the opportunity to have some enlightening talks from different sectors and different industries. We had the opportunity to just pull up, get some coffee, settle down and listen to billionaires, millionaires, music artists and successful people who make the cut according to Forbes. This was an enchanting experience and we took full advantage of this. Studio, you're getting everything on video, you're getting pictures, even if that many people aren't looking at my pictures and stuff, it's just, just always just having that out there, you know what I'm saying? And as my career and my accolades and music and everything grew, um, I never stopped with that end of it too, so they kind of just met in the middle. I do have to ask you about the tags, because I feel like that's how most people know you first and, and maybe best. I guess, how much of those like happy accidents versus you thinking very consciously about, hey, this is, this is what I wanted to look like? Every last one of them was a happy accident. So, I mean, that's just the blessing of it, man. Um... We also had the opportunity to set up one-on-one -on -one networking interviews where I got to meet potential sponsors, I got to meet potential podcast guests, and I got to network with some of the most brilliant people in the world. I had the opportunity to meet Akifa Katak, who is a healthcare attorney, and do a podcast with her later. We also were privy to a book signing by Rupi Kaur, who is a best-selling author. There were a ton of food trucks and food options, as well as free alcohol samples. We were really taken care of, and as you can see here, I was dying to sink my teeth into anything I could find. And this kind of allowed me to mentally reset, grab some coffee, and try to find a network with high net worth people so that I can grow my cause, my YouTube channel, my podcast, and network and make new friends. Sign up for the list, pre order, or sign up for the wait list. Perfect. Thank you. There was also a concert by a DJ called Zandra. Metro Boomin also performed, and this kind of allowed us to have a fun setting where we could meet different people. I had started to make some friends. My friends Giannis, Rainy, and Sun were with me and we low-key formed a group and we realized that we wanted to pregame together later for the social activities that were planned. What's your name, bro? Uh, they call me Star Woods. Star Woods. Yes, sir. Star Woods, man. Um, Cincinnati, Ohio. Nice. Um, I'm an artist. Yes, sir. Shit, just look out my music. Just check me out. Uh, I got more music coming. Uh, before the year is out, hopefully it's called Pink Vocals. It's me basically just just rapping over uh, familiar uh, instrumentals and like 
Drake stuff, like stuff like that. Yeah, it's similar. Like if you know who like Keith Sweat is, like mm -hmm. you know, I rapped over a Keith Sweat uh, beat. I rapped over um, "Are You Still Down" uh, by John B and Tupac. I rapped over that beat. So um, yeah, I got a project coming. It's called Pink Vocals. And, nice. um, yeah, man. Shit, man. I'm a father. I'm out here getting it like every other person. Man. Yes, sir. And, and this, he, he has big dreams. You know, he dropping me, me home. Uh, we had a good conversation. Yep. Just look out for my Forbes uh, under 30 vlog and uh, shoot me a comment, bro. I'll put your stuff in the, in the description. Right. Okay. All right. You have Forbes. A... Yes, sir. Forbes. Yes, sir. Take care, man. Appreciate the ride home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got a uh, business card? Uh, yeah. I do. The clips I'm showing now are slightly out of order, but I just wanted to bring you with us to the nightlife aspect of this conference. This is a, an area where you can network with people, make new connections way faster than a professional setting. So yeah, welcome to the vlog. We're currently trying to find uh, a rooftop bar. We've been told that that was the spot, but it's kind of dead. So yeah, we're man here. He's he trying to find us a, a spot. You we're know? trying to find something, we gotta make it work. Exactly. And this is what networking is, you know, it's just meeting people. Like my, my homie here, he got the backpack, you know, he got his like alienware in there, you know. <laughs> we out here, we out here. Forbes, let's go, Forbes. First you order a shitty drink and then you know what it's drinking? I mean, I'm I can take it to go. I can nurse this, you know? Like, bro, I'm like four drinks deep. I, I, if I chug this, it just. Four. Really? We're like at least six drinks deep. Yeah. You guys been killing drinks all night? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I saw you guys talking to two girls. How'd it go? Like, <laughs> they were sisters. Oh, shit. Very nice. They were Painterland. Oh shit. They were very nice. Buy you yogurt. What's that? To buy you yogurt there. It's good. Yogurt? I'm down. The nightlife aspect allowed us to let loose from my city, Chicago, as well as people I would meet later in life and later in the conference and just collaborate with these keep in mind this is the cream of the crop and this was such a brilliant opportunity to network with influencers that form new connections start companies with people it's invaluable for a creative to be in such a setting this is a clip from day two, slightly out of order, but it just shows how I instantly connected with my friend Yanis, who was in my hotel. And we were from different backgrounds, but we connected and pre-gamed together like true Midwestern people. And this was such a cool experience to get to know someone. You say your parents are Indian, right? Mm -hmm. So, India is Hindu, right? Yep. And Bangladesh is Muslim? Mostly Muslim. Basically, the Indian subcontinent used to have Pakistan and Pakistan. The part east of India, turning to Bangladesh, and um, Pakistan is like the west. For them, the Hindu people stay in India, mostly. I enjoyed it. I got a lot of good input like from the speeches. But on the networking side, it was 
way slower than yesterday. That's why I'm excited for tonight because I feel like yes. tonight is gonna be way more leaning towards networking, social aspects, so yeah. Giannis and I were both social and we were dying to meet new people. We end up forming a small squad of people uh, at the next bar that we go to on the bar crawl. And this squad was so fun to be with. We just drank, laughed, connected with each other and formed connections that were deep, even though we had just met. And this allowed us to enjoy the vibrant experience of Cincinnati and just be in a constant state of awe. It felt like I was living out some movie moments. What's up? So, heading back today. Technically, it is day four. Um, just wrapped up the conference yesterday. Slightly hungover, but I decided to get in a nice workout, very intense workout, fully fasted. It's about 2.30 p.m. right now, and I regret not having a car here. Finally, after a three-day experience, where I had made new connections, I had got sponsorship deals, I had got <coughs> podcast guests, I had met some millionaires and billionaires, and I felt like I was on the right path. Stoicism had guided me to this point, but I felt fulfilled in my career, and I felt like there's a lot to look forward to, and that I have a bright bright future.